almost a year ago. So let's just have a quick overview about what's on the rack right now. So my top three rows are each Chinese Ways SC and OPI. Um, these aren't my full collections of each of these brands. Um, the rest I have stored in my Melmer. Um, moving on from there, I have my Pipe Dream Polish uh, Night in Vegas creams. Then below my Pipe Dream Polishes, I have some of my KB Shimmers. These are just the Faded Neon creams that released this year. And then on the very bottom row, I have my Virga Varnish collection. And then stuck in the random spaces around those collections, I have my Zoyas. It actually works out quite nicely because they're like categorized. Um, so here's my matte velvets, my two pixie dust, and just my normal Zoyas. Um, and then up here are my two candy lacquer polishes. That's about it for my polish rack, so let's move on to my Melmer. Uh, starting on top, I have this metal storage bin that I found at Five Below. Uh, I have my nail polish remover, my acetone, and then a whole bunch of acrylic paints and a little palette. Um, then in this little 15 slot nail polish rack, which I found at Ross, I have a bunch of my base coats and top coats, um, some cuticle oil, and my favorite whites and black polishes. Then over here, I have this little jar I also got at Michael's um, with like my daughter's, different nail art brushes, cleanup brushes. Um, nail files, and then over on the edge is my nail clippers and tweezers. And behind that, I have my Starbucks Duochrome Tumbler, affectionately known as the Nail Blogger Cup. Alright, my top drawer is actually not nail polish, it's all my nail art stuff. Um, in the back, I have this plastic organizer I found at Target recently. I have a bunch of loose glitters in there. Ooh. I have a bunch of loose glitters in there, along with my Cetra store back here, uh, some stamping plates, a buffer, uh, and a bunch more loose glitter and little baggies over here, along with some studs. Here's my Sally Hansen stud kit. And over here is some Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover, which I just bought today. I need to find a better place for that. Then in this bin over here, I have some nail polish thinner, uh, some swatch sticks I have yet to put on their rods. Uh, some Orly hand cream, which is really nice. Then some extra base and top coats that didn't fit above. Here's Revlon's Holographic Pearls. Uh, just look at that, so pretty. Then I have Pipe Dream Polish Clear Water, which I got like two months ago and I haven't used yet, but I'm, I got plans for this guy. Then here is an Essie top coat I found cheap somewhere, so I thought, eh, hey, try it out. I haven't tried it out. Um, and then back here I got one cosmetic wedge. I have more in the closet. I'll have to restock that area. Alright, then up here I have like three little jars. I think they're candle jars from Bath and Body Works. In this one I have toothpicks. This one's Q-tips. This one's a bunch of random stuff. I've got like a random striper, cuticle oil, cuticle balm, and some loose hollow glitter I got at Kmart and have never used because I don't know why. And then lastly I just have a bag of cotton squares. Okay, moving right along. Here's the middle drawer. So I have a full row of L'Oreal's over here. Then I have a full row of KB Shimmers. Um, then some Essie with overflow of Essie over there. And I don't know if you can see, but there's one little lone jewel up back there. It's a jewel at best. Um, then I have a row of color clubs with those extra Essies behind and an extra OPI back there as well. Then I have my Orly's and some random Indies. Here's Lavish Polish. Um, Elegy, Glam Polish, and Never Enough Polish. Stick that back. And then here I have a row of OPI. Oh no. And then here I have three rows of China Glaze, organized in Rambo fashion. You can just, you can see they're my favorite. Oh, I love China Glaze. 
Um, and then very back row, I have my three Lime Crime polishes. And finally, here's my bottom drawer, my Melmar. This is all my drugstore polishes. Up here, I have my Wet n Wild Mega Last polishes. I have the spring collection here, the summer collection here, and then the mainstream polishes that I have right there. Then over here, I have my Fresh Paint polishes, found at five below. Then over here, I have my Sally Hansen, um, whatchamacallit, Extreme Wear. Um, then back here, there's my Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Um, with a random finger paints in that open slot. And here I have some Jordina that I never use. <laughs> um, some sinful colors. Then I have this, just a bunch of randoms now. Uh, here's Charming Charlie's Polish in Mint Chocolate Chip. It's like a mint base with black, um, micro glitter in there. Uh, then I have some, like, Revlons, Milani's, Maybelline's Salon Perfect, Milani Color Statement. Mini China Glazes, um, what are these called? New York Color, those things. And back here I have a bunch of randoms that I only have like one of. Then over here I have a row of Funky Fingers from Five Below. Here I have my Sally Hansen Insta Dry, a uh, whole rainbow of them. I just got the purple to finish it off. Um, those are really great for water marbling. So that's it for the bottom drawer. <laughs> just a couple things I forgot to mention. Here's some nail wheels that I've been practicing some of my nail art designs on, like some of my favorites I've done. Um, here's my swatch stick collection. I have all my polishes swatched, that's what the extras over there were, they were kind of buried so you couldn't see them. And then, if you are going to have the Melmer, I suggest um, putting a shelf liner on the bottom so that the polishes don't slide around when you're opening and closing the drawers. Um, that's a tip I learned from a girl on YouTube. I will link her down below. Um, so yeah, that's my collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Over here I have my Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover, which I- oh man, my chipped thumb, ugh. <laughs>